there, it's Rachel with Bonnie, and today we're going to be working on come with distance. I know a lot of times uh, Bonnie chooses not to come. She has some selective hearing, and she's pretty slow when she does. So we want to keep practicing that uh, for her safety and for your peace of mind. And so again, we have our super long leash that will let her get farther away, like she's doing now. So now she's probably about 10 feet away, and that's as far as I'm let, gonna let her go. And I'm gonna guide her back with the leash and just do the same kind of come that we've done before. Bonnie, come! Come on, Bonnie! Come on, Bonnie! Come, come, come. come here! Good come, Bonnie! Good come! Good come, Bonnie! All right, that was pretty good. Uh, in normal Bonnie fashion, it wasn't exactly a straight line back to me, but she didn't slow down. She kept up a pretty good pace and came right back to me, which is what we want to see. Um, and we want to keep working on with her. So, as you can see, we are outside today, so there's a little bit more for her to explore that she normally doesn't get to. And I have her on this leash, so I'm going to let her do that, and I can use the leash to tug on just a little bit to remind her um, of what I'm asking when I tell her to come if she doesn't start coming to me right away. So now I'm going to walk her around and let her check out some stuff, and I'm going to uh, go back and call her. So Bonnie, this way. Right now she's getting interested in some stuff over there, so I'm giving her a leash, letting her do it, but still not too far. I don't want to be drowning in this leash when I'm trying to pull it to call her back. So Bonnie, come! Come on, Bonnie! Bonnie, come! Come here! Come on, Bonnie! Good come! Good come, Bonnie! What a good job! Good girl. All right, again, that was pretty good. She needs a little bit of encouragement with the leash, but she's doing well. So we're just going to keep practicing and try to get her to come a little bit quicker. I'd like to see her uh, trot to come instead of uh, leisurely walk in a curved line. All right, now she's going back behind the house, so she can't see me right now. So this is really good practice. to get distracted and find something that she wants to look at more than she wants to come back to you. And so that's why um, it's really good to practice on a leash because I will ask her first to come and when she doesn't or if she starts getting distracted, I can force her to with the leash. And uh, that sounds a little harsh, but it is just encouraging, encouraging her. Um, it means that she can't get away and do... Um, anything she wants because I do have a hold of her and I can pull her back to me if I need to and just remind her of what I'm asking. So I'm going to take her back over there, uh, see if there's anything she wants to look at. And I'm also going to give room so I can run backwards. I know I've uh, gone over that before. It kind of excites dogs when you're going in the opposite direction and running backwards. It uh, gives kind of a... Uh -oh, <laughs> 